Hello, and welcome to the Offensive Band Name Generator tutorial. In this video, we will teach you how to play the game. The Offensive Band Name Generator is a party game for between 3 and 20 players, and is recommended for mature players only. To set up the main game, shuffle the album cover cards and then place them face down in a stack. Then deal one card to each player. Each player will place points one on the This Personal Album cover card. In this example, let's pretend we are playing a three-player game. So Johnny is the old man gangster. Susie is the Rolls Royce. And Octavius is the decrepit men's room. Place the double-sided black free word cards in a stack. Spread the word cards out in the middle of the table and mix them around. Then every player draws six cards at random from the pile. Finally, decide what type of game you would like to play. If you would like to play an inoffensive game where the goal is to come up with plausible band names, use the theme list labelled Class. If you would like to play an offensive game, use the theme list labelled Crass. Put the chosen list in front of the player who owns the game, and put the other list back in the box. You are now ready to play. First, the player with the theme list announces the first theme as well as the up-and-coming theme that will be used for the next round. Themes are numbered from 1 to 20, and players will try to create band names that fit the theme of the current round, while trying to preserve cards that may fit better for the next round. Next, all players simultaneously create a band name with their hand of six cards. Players may use any word on a card, but may only use one word from each card, and may create a band name with as many or as few cards as they wish from their hand. Players may also use any number of available free word cards. So, for this example, let's pretend the current theme is technology, pets, aliens or Mexican food. After looking at his hand, Johnny decides on the band name Sticky Puppy, which fits the pets part of the current theme. He also decides to use a free word card. He plays his cards and announces with much verve that his band name is MC Sticky Puppy. Next, Susie chooses to use the aliens part of the theme choices and announces that her band name is Wookie Love Cult. Finally, Octavius uses four word cards and one free word card to announce that his band name is Johnny Mohammed and the Miserable Tacos, fulfilling the Mexican food theme requirement. Next, all players vote on the best band name that fits the theme. To do this, all players make the sign of the horn with one hand and raise it into the air. Then the player with the theme list does a four count as follows. Check one, two, three. On the count of three, all players point to the player they think had the best band name for the round. The winner takes one of the word cards from the winning band name and places it under the album cover card. Each card won is worth one point. In the case of a tie, all tied players will win one point. All players must then discard all the word cards used to make their band name back into the word card pile, but face up. Free word cards should be returned to the free word deck. The winner of the round also receives the theme list and becomes the first player. The new first player announces the next theme, and players then have the option to discard any number of cards in their hand, again face up. All players then draw back up the six cards. As play progresses, players will be able to choose from unrevealed face-down cards or previously played face-up cards. 
In this way, creativity and wit become more important for success than luck. If you are using the Super Offensive Expansion, you may only have one expansion card in your hand during each round. These cards should be discarded face down and are distinguished by the reverse colour. Round 10 and Round 20 are album cover bonus rounds. During these rounds, the player who holds the theme list should flip over an album cover card and pass it around the table for all players to see. Then, instead of drawing up to six cards, all players draw up to eight cards and use them to create both a band name and an album name that best fits the album cover image drawn. Players may also bet any number of word cards they have won as points. To do this, pick up earned word cards and determine how many you would like to wager. Arrange all the cards you've earned. Face up means you are wagering the card. Face down means you are not. Once you have arranged your bet, place your album cover card on top to keep your bet secret from other players. Starting with the player who holds the band name theme list, each player reveals the band name and album name they have created and reads it aloud with as much verve as they can muster. All players vote as normal, but for the player they feel has created the most appropriate band name and album name combination for the album cover image in play. If you won or tied the round, you keep all your wagered points and receive one additional word card point for each card you have wagered. If you did not win or tie the round, you must discard each word card you have wagered, face up, to the word card pile. The winner also gets to keep the album cover card. The game ends when the 20th round is completed. Each word card earned equals one point, and each album cover card is worth one point. The player who has earned the most points wins. That's how you play. But that's not all. Be sure to look at the rulebook to see all the great game options and variants that come with the offensive band name generator.